Aloha out there in internet land. It's Tardis again, and I'm coming at you today with a review of the Indigo Rose Tomato. The Indigo Rose Tomato. I just grew this in my backyard. Um, just pulled it off the vine a little while ago. Uh, planted the seeds I got from Trade Winds Fruits. Or Trade Winds Fruit. I always say their name wrong. Um, and today I'm going to give it a try. Uh, as you know, I'm not really into tomatoes, but I'm not really into the t flavor of tomatoes. I found some I liked. I also plucked one of these, which I love, uh, the ivory pear tomato. This cherry tomato is so sweet and so tasty that uh, I've been eating them as soon as they're ripe on the vine. But today, I'm going to give you a little review. I brought that for afterwards in case I don't like the tomato-y taste of this. I also uh, pulled off one I already reviewed, the um, Fahrenheit Blues tomato. The Fahrenheit Blues Tomato, another blue variety I grew. This one, it tastes like a cherry tomato. It's nothing special. Um, I wouldn't care to grow it again or not. I like the color. It looks cool. It serves the cherry tomato purposes, but it's just another cherry tomato other than the cool color. This, I believe, was one of the first ones, uh, the Indigo Rose, to really use that purple. As you can see, it's almost black where the sun hits it. Uh, where the sun didn't hit it, it's very red. Now the plant itself, not too troublesome. The plant itself wasn't too troublesome to grow. I got some uh, some video I'm going to show you, and it just wasn't anything special. It was kind of lanky, and not it wasn't lanky. It wasn't tall, but the leaves weren't the healthiest. Let me jump in here and show you. Uh, that's the plant, and as you can see, I'm not exactly an expert grower. This is my first year really growing peppers and uh, tomatoes. So you can see, didn't get a ton of light, and it was um, the leaves aren't looking the healthiest. But the plant itself didn't get too tall, didn't get too troublesome, kind of served its purpose. So not too disappointed with how easy it was to grow. The plant itself just kind of did its job. I didn't hate growing it, didn't didn't do much for me, but it did produce this pretty fruit. And today let's find out how this tastes. Let's uh, push this forward. I don't want to keep you waiting. Let's give the indigo rose a try. Cut open the top, as you can see. A bit fleshy. Let's quarter this and uh, give it a try. Ooh. Nice red color inside. Uh, fleshy, there are a nice little amount of seeds, but it's a very fleshy tomato. I'm assuming it's just going to have tomato flavor. Let's give it a try. Mm. It was sweeter than I was expecting. It's nice. It's actually nice. I don't really like that tomatoey flavor, but it's not too bad. Tastes like a tomato. I'm actually a little uh, surprised. It's a little better than I thought. It's got a little bit of acidity. It's a little sweeter than I was expecting. The tomato flavor is there, but it's actually pretty nice. I actually like this. It's not spectacular. Um, but as for a regular tomato, it's good. It's got a little bit of that cherry tomato flavor to it, too. It's good. Let me read you a little bit about it real quick. Uh, this was uh, from Oregon State University. It's one of the first known tomatoes producing true purple-blue. Um, the remarkable fruits contain the purple pigment in eggplants. Fruits can grow to two ounces and work into dark purple in direct sunlight. The color is unlike anything ever seen in a tomato. The insides are red and typical tomato flavor. It's actually a little better than typical tomato flavor. Uh, like all the seeds, this variety is not a GMO and was originally developed using standard breeding. Hmm, excellent. Yeah, so I'm going to say this tomato is actually better than I thought. It's got a good amount of sweetness. I'm surprised at the sweetness. It's actually... um. It's not like super sweet. It's not sweet like this bad boy, which I love. I have repair. But it's got some sweetness there that really balances the flavor out. 
I'm actually going to compare it right now to the uh, to the one I reviewed before. I wasn't too thrilled with this. I didn't dislike it, but it was just a regular cherry tomato. Uh, the Fahrenheit Blues. So let me just kind of see if I'm if this also tastes the same, and I'm just misjudging it. No, I definitely like the Indigo Rose better than the Fahrenheit Blues. The Fahrenheit Blues is a cherry tomato, but by comparison, its flavor is um, too tomatoey, with the sweetness um, too mellow. The sweetness in the Indigo Rose is actually much higher, which I don't expect from a bigger tomato. I would think a bigger tomato would be less sweet, but the Indigo Rose... really good flavor. I like the Fahrenheit uh, Blues even less now, given that I know that a purple variety can taste better than that. I would, I would, any day of the week, if I had to choose between the two, I'd sacrifice the Fahrenheit Blues, and I would grow the Indigo Rose. The Indigo Rose is tasty, and there's more tomato to each tomato. Uh, took uh, about two weeks longer to finish. It's nothing, really. Mmm. Meet the last piece. Indigo Rose. I actually highly recommend this now. Very good tomato. It's juicy, but fleshy. You can use it for all your tomato uses, but it's also got that added sweetness. Yeah. Um, I give this a... Ah, three and three quarters out of five? No, I give this a four out of five. I give this a four out of five. I do give this a four out of five. The flavor is very nice. The plant didn't give me any trouble. Sure, I'm a first-time grower, so the leaves don't look the best. Uh, leaves are dying, yeah, yeah, but that's happening on all my plants because, like, I'm like if anybody off the street started trying to grow it. It's, um, Yeah. I am pleasantly surprised. It's no, mm. Mm. It's not as good. I would recommend before. Um, I would highly recommend the ivory pear and the garden peach as a much better tomatoes. Which I have. They're two yellow tomatoes, which are really, really great flavor. But this one is a nice. If you're looking for that, for that. Regular tomato flavor with a little bit of sweetness. This is great. It's not as good as the Garden Peach or the Ivory Pear, but it's good. Um, yeah, four out of five. I would definitely recommend growing it if you want. Uh, if you already got the Garden Peach and the uh, Ivory Pear going. Much easier to grow than the two of them. Not as good, but... It's much better than the Fahrenheit Blues. And that's my review. Leave comments below. I don't care if you subscribe. It's not monetized. Um, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the review. Aloha.